Uh, trustees Banucci and Trustees McKenzie, um, thanks for letting me come and give public comment. My name is William Lee, I'm just a citizen here, never attended here. Um, <clears throat> so I haven't had a chance to come speak uh, for a month or two, um, but I want to make some notes. First of all, um, First Amendment rights. Um, second of all, the, the makeup of this trustee board. And uh, third, Christy Wood. So first of all, First Amendment rights. So in Idaho statute, uh, we're allowed to make public comment, right? Like we all kind of know that. But the nature of the public comment, Mr. Lines, if you could let him finish, because Christy, Christy Wood has trampled plenty of men people's First Amendment rights. It's totally applicable. Mr. Mr. Lee, the uh, public comment is, is is restricted to items on the agenda. So uh, other items out okay. of the agenda are kind of out of order for this. So okay, so um, the uh, board conduct policy thing that you guys have on the agenda, basically there might be some kind of thing where you're going to modify it to delimit people's ability to get public comment. So that's maybe I'll just case in point of it in that, in that way. So yeah, Idaho statutes, we all kind of know that um, we can give public comment in, the, in an open meeting, right? But the nature of that public comment, I think that's what you guys are maybe going to try to delimit based on American law, the American legal framework. Public comment could be anything. It could be robust in nature. It could be scathing. I can criticize anyone and name names. Excuse me, Mr. Lee. Want. Public comment is not an, uh, an issue that is a substantive discussion here. Okay. We, and, and let me just remind you, and you still have, will have your time. Uh, the public comment is something that the board allows. This is a business meeting of the Board of Trustees. It is not a public meeting like a public hearing where people are allowed to come up and testify. The, the board, the college board, allows some limited public comment consistent with the parameters that we set. That's two minutes of public comment limited to agenda items. And that's that's the, the parameters of public comment. So, Please continue on our subject related to the meeting. Public comment can be anything. If you guys come to the meeting and you hear me talk about, like, um, yeah, you hear me talk about, like, the um, endangered wildlife in Antarctica, you guys just need to listen to me for, you know, however long I choose to go on. And that's the kind of nature of what we have here. To delimit it is, um, I, I think that's kind of slippery, a slippery slope, right? Because then you can just kind of Keep, you can censor someone, criticize a trustee that's done something, right? That would not be free speech. So anyways, I'm done with this topic, I'll move to the next one. Uh, so the current trustee board, I don't view you as... Please cut the mic. You're not gonna give him his time? No, he's, his time is up. His time is up and he won't follow the rules. His time is up and he won't follow the rules. No. Please sit down. Please sit down, or I will have security escort you from the room. So that, that's, that's it. That was only like maybe thirty seconds of me actually talking. So uh, I will say it one more time. Sit down, or I will have security escort you from the room. Security. Security. Well, going to be leveled down as the word gets me. If you wish to speak, please address the chair. I'm also here. I hope people in November can help me restore free speech on campus. You used up half of his lines, and he wants to talk about trustee agenda uh, uh, emeritus status. There's plenty of things to criticize. Uh, trustee McKenzie, if you wish to speak, please address the chair. Why? He doesn't. Please address the chair. Is it equal rules for lines then? Or is there two sets of rules on campus here? Because that's what I observe over and over and over again. There's one set of rules. Follow the policy. It's not that You important. don't even follow the policy yourself. I are you going to talk to us about policy or procedure? I, I will absolutely. Yes, I will absolutely. After him. I will absolutely. After him. 
I'm going to take charge of this meeting. I want you to be quiet for a example again. We have two trustees, and that didn't happen this meeting.